Hi, everyone. Reverend Lunch Lady here, also known as Love Coach Macy. Welcome, replay viewers. If you're watching this, on the replay, will you post your name below and say where you're from? I'd love to come say hi to you later. And um, I am sharing this week five days of dating strategies that lead to real love. And these are actually what I consider five commitments that we make to ourselves. And these are truly all essential like you really want to be able to um, integrate all five of these in your life and it's not really that hard to do that it's just noticing what keeps us from doing that so we'll talk about that but today we're on the third strategy and if you're joining you can click the link in the subject that says i give Streamyard permission to show my name and then when you comment, I'll be able to see who you are. So welcome. Um, if we haven't met yet, my name is Macy Matarazzo. I also go by Reverend Lunch Lady, and I'm the founder of Big Happy Love Coaching, where I support women in creating phenomenal love relationships. And typically, these are women who have been wanting that relationship wanting that person to share their life with but it just isn't happening and either maybe you've been in a relationship for a really long time and you're just coming out into this modern dating world and it's it's different than it was before or perhaps you just have felt like you're just not meeting people who match you and um that's feeling frustrating Whatever it is, you know, my mission is to really help people get beyond all of those things that have kept us from truly having those meaningful connections and really being able to have that relationship with yourself that is what truly allows you to receive and allow greater love in your life. And when you can get clear on this and heal any of the limiting beliefs or emotional um, wounds that have come from your life, because it's truly not the thing that we learn about growing up. We do not learn about relationship. We watch people in relationship. We watch our parents. We watch TV. We look in magazines and make a lot of decisions about what it means to be in a relationship and so much of that ends up being an unconscious subconscious pattern that drives the way you attract and the way you build and create relationships and i'm excited to share with you the things that help us move beyond that transcend that so that you can consciously co-create with another, that you can truly listen to your heart and know what it is that you can have from there and actually cultivate that worthiness of you and what you can have in a relationship. So this week we've had two days already the first day i talked about really making that decision the decision to say you know what i'm having this and really being in that place of coming from your heart rather than working from fear oh what if it doesn't happen or what if i get what i had before that was bad like being able to move beyond all of the fears that make it even hard to say, yes, I am opening up to receiving real love. Because that can be really scary if it's been painful in the past and really scary if, you know, your nervous system has emotional memories that make relationship not feel safe. So the first step is really looking 
at how what it takes to be able to even say I'm choosing this. And I mentioned some of the processes I do specifically to get to the root of those kind of relationship wounds and traumas that can change that so that you have a different experience of yourself in relationship. And that's huge. So that's the first step. The second one was really talking about creating that magnetic vision. And it's not just visually vision. It's the experience of relationship that you you have that awareness, that sense, that knowingness that you're wanting to create and really knowing how to claim that. And if you didn't watch yesterday, I encourage you to do because I talk about all of the different kind of quality checks you want to do that, um, you know, if you aren't aware of these pitfalls and these places where we unconsciously or unknowingly kind of diminish our vision or or you know make our vision sort of smaller and less because we don't at a conscious level feel worthy of it then um that is something you want to be aware of and when you when you're aware of it you can change that's also something that i work on with my private clients is really how do you expand into the space that allows you to have the greatest possible relationship that phenomenal love so yesterday we talked a lot about that today we are talking about basically choosing like what are those what are those choices you're making like if you are noticing that in relationship or in dating or in life that you're often feeling unhappy or dissatisfied you know what are those things that you're choosing that continue to feel bad so in this step this is a commitment to choosing those things that support your love story that make you feel in love and when i talk about in love it's like that lightness that joyful feeling that excitement and there's a lot of reasons and habits that we can have that make choosing for ourselves and choosing just for the sake of having fun and joy and happiness and playfulness and you know getting out of the seriousness of life but actually being able to have more joy and fun there's you know our own judgments about that like our own emotional habits around feeling like oh i should do this or i should do that or you know feeling obligated or like in a habit of people pleasing or um even misunderstanding our own values and in maybe even living someone else's values you know are you living what your parents values are that actually don't feel aligned for you and therefore you know your life feels like it's missing something so how much of your life are you not choosing for you so i think of this as okay like if you notice that things are feeling bad any thoughts or experience or people or um work or anything that feels bad or just full then choose again you can always choose again so whatever that is you know noticing and i know um for a lot of people it sounds strange but i recognize this in myself that i did have a pattern of actually having a habitual unhappiness that i was in the habit of unhappiness and i think this is a very interesting conversation to have right now 
because right now, you know, we're seeing all of this like suffering and fear and huge change in the world. And it's easy to look around and say, you know what? I, it wouldn't even be right to be happy. Like I I've noticed that like, oh, well, you know, if I'm happy, there must be something really wrong with me. Look at all the things that are happening. I shouldn't be happy. This is, this is terrible. And, and, and really actually denying those choices that do make me happy right now. So, you know, I have been super aware of how I'm choosing every day. Like, what are those choices that I can make that would bring me the most excitement, the most joy, the most pleasure today? And doing really whatever it takes to let that happen. And, you know, part of that was doing this five-day series because I, I love creating things. I love sharing. I love teaching. And I love coaching. So, you know, these are the things that we can choose for ourselves if we move beyond the habits of, you know, what we think we should do or how we should be acting because this is what's happening in the world. Can we move beyond that and really recognize how powerful it is for us to, you know, choose joy and happiness for ourselves? And I find that, you know, the more that I do that in my life, in my relationships, in my business, then that just naturally creates more around me. And it becomes like a ripple that helps other people choose more happiness. So how can you be that for yourself? And the cool part about this is the more that you are showing up for yourself like that, it actually is a demonstration to the universe as to the kind of consciousness you are wanting in a relationship. So let me say that another way. So the way you be with you is a relationship. And that is the relationship that is going to get created. So whatever energy you have around the relationship you have with you in terms of honoring and gentleness and kindness and listening and taking care of your needs and you know resting when you need and nourishing your body and asking your body and inviting a conversation that is like a conversation that you can probably imagine you would love to have with a beloved or a lover. When you can do that with yourself, then that is like writing an order for that phenomenal kind of relationship, sending it off to the universe saying this, this. If you're not modeling that, within your own energy field, then it cannot be matched. It just can't be because whatever you're putting out there is what's going to be matched. It's um, one of my favorite quotes is, you can't have a happy ending to a miserable journey. And truly this is, the journey is how you're being with yourself presently and that will be the same quality of the kind of relationship you can attract. A lot of us, you know, live in a space where we're feeling like, oh, I must be doing it wrong. I'm not doing it right. You know, I should be doing more. I should be, you know, skinnier or prettier or younger or all of these things become like a an attacking abusive partner in your field and if that's what you're doing then that's the only thing you can create in a relationship so it's it's not small so you know this step this you know third dating strategy is really choosing for you being able to make those choices that feel 
like love, like really feel like that lightness, that giddiness, that that love story, that that beautiful um, sort of sparkle. I like the word giddy. I just say giddy, giddiness of that and um, knowing that, you know, the energy that you have with the relationship with yourself is what you will create ultimately. So if you're not liking what you're seeing, what else can you choose for yourself? If you're not liking your environment, if you're not liking, um, you know, how you feel in your body, if you're not liking, if you're not feeling amused, then what are those other choices? Because there's an infinite number of choices you can make. So hopefully that gives you something to consider to start, you know, as you're living your day, you know, asking yourself a question. One of the questions I invite my clients to ask themselves a lot is, what would I love? 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 <laughs> so consistently asking yourself, you know, yeah, what would be super fun for me right now? And really choosing from that place. Because when you're choosing from that place, you're creating from that place, and you're attracting the experiences that match that. And um, so that's an amazingly powerful tool. So play with that. Play with, you know, what would I love? And if you notice that this is challenging for you or you find that you are stuck in people pleasing or you are like feeling like you aren't clear on your values or if you struggle to be able to receive or honor yourself or develop that relationship because the inner critics are so loud you know if that kind of voice within you is is hard to stop then i would say that also is a reason to reach out and let's set up a time to talk about like what would it take to get to a place where you actually know how to create your life, your love life, your meaningful work, all of the things that actually create more love and joy and fun in your life. And allow you to be more of you because oftentimes it's the the critics that are just judging you making yourself wrong or or not having any ability to actually see the greatness of you and that is something that can change and it's worth changing because you know you deserve to be happy like happiness truly is your birthright so reach out to me and if you want to look at that and look at what um, it would take to develop that confidence and self-awareness and relationship with yourself that does create um, healthy, happy love relationships, then let's talk about it. So message me, Macy, at BigHappyLove.com or message me on Facebook and we can set up a time. So tomorrow is our fourth day. We have two more days of this series of five dating strategies that lead to real love. No matter what's happening in the world, these are core. And if you haven't watched the other ones, go back and look at the others in the feed and um, when we're done, you'll have these five commitments that you can check off that are going to support you in having an amazing love story in your life. So thanks for listening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.